You know, you know, everybody, we always have stuff to do here, and uh, let's let's bring on the pain, baby. More Blue Jackets franchise. I'm uh, as intrigued as I am, Zergacha, by that idea, and I'm not saying we won't follow it up with it sometime. Um, I'm intrigued to see how this team will do. Again, we've made some big changes, right? We dealt Brady Kachuk to bring in Caleb Waugh. Uh, we elected to keep Gunderson and Kaupanen from offer sheets while letting David Yerachek go via offer sheet and then acquiring Simone Nemich to replace him. Uh, but he's only on a one-year deal. And then, of course, Gabriel Daig is gone. Four first-round picks from Nashville to get him. Uh, so we are in an interesting little spot here where, hey, if we do well this season, cool. If we don't, uh, we actually have some proper draft capital for once. Two first round picks this year, one from Nashville, one from Seattle, a couple of seconds. Like, it's not bad. And of course, you see the trade value right now of Wah after uh, we took him first overall as a franchise level talent. Good things could happen. They could indeed happen. Uh, but we also have to set up our goals for the season, which uh, let's do that. Let's see what we can get these guys to do this year. Uh, Mr. Ravensbaggin. Um, what is your goal for the season going to be? There's no way you're going to win an award. Do I have the option to just say stay on the NHL roster? I do. Let's let's do that. Just don't get sent down, Josh. You would have to be tragic to get sent down. Uh, Patrick Hammerla, you are going to have... Oh, he's a Stanley Cup champion. Who knew? He must have been like Colorado's backup. Fair enough. Uh, your goal. You're going to be shocked. Oh, I actually can't tell him to stay on the NHL roster. Uh, 9-10 save percentage. Why not? That'll be your goal. Why not? Why not? And then Michael DiPietro, Bruins legend. Michael DiPietro. Got the hook. Thanks for the moment. Uh, Long-term goal. 9-10 save percentage if you end up playing. That is the game plan. We learned edit player crash is the game. We did learn that, too. We did learn that, too, which I... Yeah. I had to, I had to pass that information on because that kind of sucked. Polly, what's up, man? Zach Wierenski. Your goal for the season. God help me. God help me. Your goal for the season. <sighs> it's got to be to win the Norris. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. But I think that's, well, let me double check the stat challenges. Uh, Circuit Jeff offer sheeted four first round picks we got from Nashville. Let's see, 20 goals, 50 assists, a plus minus of 30 or blocked shots. The Norris might be the most likely, if we're being honest. It might be. Award challenge. Win the Norris, Zach. He's about to win five Vezinas in a row, probably. Let's be honest. But, yeah, it was like an $11 million contract or some shit. Uh, Simone Nemich. Two ways fine. As a player type. Um, again, we have no idea if we're going to be keeping him all season long. Time will tell. Uh, your goal... X Factor, 15 power plays for 1T, 30 goals for Schnipe. Oh, man. Five power play goals for seeing eye, though? That should be possible. That should be possible, hopefully. Um, actually, because we did that, let me go double check uh, the power play. Mr. Besser, what's going on? How the heck are you? Um, so right now we have it going through Wa or Nemich. Starting the season, let's have Nemich be the finisher there. Shout out to Quack. Quack. Just trying to walk through this fucking quack. grass. Quack. Quack. Thank you for the ball. Welcome in. Feel like that Nashville pick's going to be good. Potentially. It could come back to haunt us. It could. I have to retool the Red Wings during first year with Marner. First year with Marner. Imagine the three Quacks. Never forget those telltale games, man. Those telltale games. Uh, let's see. Kimo Kalpanen. 
Play changing uh, is pissing me off and trying to change my two way DU has awful puck skills and five star defense and no DFD. And keep saying, uh, that's when you trade him and say, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Kalpanen, definitely a strong DFD, but you can tell he has some offensive potential. If we can get him to change to a two way, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. So let's talk to Kimo here. A oh, nice play. Play style. Not willing to listen. Okay. Well, that was worth a shot. Uh, your long-term goal for the season. None of those are going to happen, let's be honest. Probably going to have to do the shop locking since he's still going to be a DFD, you know? 40 assists. Two blocks per game is rough. We'll just do the one block per game. That should be more than possible. Got line in a first for Debrinket. Not bad at all. Not a bad way to start a rebuild at all. Uh, Daniel Goudreau, definitely good enough to be a two-way. All right, Danny, what is your goal for the season going to be? Uh, X-factor-wise, 15 power play goals, 30 goals, 40 assists. And I don't think those are particularly likely. So, your long-term goal, stat challenge, 30 assists might be possible, though. That might be possible. Let's try that as opposed to the shot blocking. I think that has a chance to succeed. Uh, Xavier Villanov, still determined to turn you uh, into something here. Honestly, it's getting to the point where he might be better as a two-way as opposed to an OFD. Let's talk to him about that. Uh, on ice play, play style. No, not willing to talk about it. Okay. Your goal for the season. Quack, what's going on? I do love player challenges, though. Like Naramaki won the Calder, got medium lean, to sound consistent goal score. That little bit of extra control over player development is, it's a big thing. It is a big, big thing. It's not quite full on Madden being able to decide what the attribute upgrades go into, but it is pretty nice. Uh, Villanov, 20 goals, 30 assists. Yeah. yeah, plus minus a 15 might be possible. I mean, he's third pair, but that might be possible. Uh, Cali Berglund. Indeed, Warrior, indeed. Join the series on YouTube. Well, right now you're getting massive spoilers for them, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, whoops, okay, Berglund. Two ways fine for now. Uh, what the hell is your goal for the season going to be? Can it be to stay on the roster? There we go. I know, or I know. Never a, never a dull time. Ben Sherratt's fine as he is. I mean, he's literally just a, a depth option. Uh, in the system, did we need to do anything with Luca Morelli? get rid of him because he's not going to develop. Um, I mean, if he's willing to be a DFD, it might give him a chance. He is not willing to be. Yeah, I mean, there's just no way Luca Morelli's ever going to make it. He's going to be trade fodder soon. Uh, Clef Bomb was a two-way, which is fine. Roloff is a defensive defenseman, which is accurate. Terrell is a two-way, which is fine. Beekoff, fine. Pentakinen, trash bag. <laughs> All right. And then Pistola, we don't have signed. And then Grachev. Dmitry Grachev, DFD, that's fine. That guy's the actual trash bag. He is terrible. Uh, right wing side, Mr. Shields. The playmaker. RV Shields. Let's find out what your goal for the season is going to be. Um, might have an X Factor challenge. Monty Schneip, shocking. A third eye for 40 assists. That should be possible. That should be possible. I mean, he's playing second pair so, or second line. I did worry. I did. You just missed us talking about it. Caleb Wah. Again, we're trying to train him up as a sniper. It's going to be his rookie season, so the goal 
is obviously going to be to win the Calder. That would be huge. Christ, I might get him to high franchise if he gets it. That'd be awesome. Uh, Riopel. What are we going to do for Riopel? 50. What's going on? Been out of the loop. But always a blue. <laughs> Thank you for 50 for the 71. Uh, if you're asking about our current roster, I can show you in full in a second. Thank you for 71, man. How have you been? How have you been? Isn't Wah the sniper? Yeah, so Shields is the playmaker on the second line. Wah's the sniper on the top line. I might have misspoke. Never happens to me, though. Uh, Reop I just noticed Reopel. Left-handed on the right side. That's not perfect, but, I mean, it's not like this crazy detriment. Um, I don't really know what the hell your goal for the year is. Is there, gonna, is there a roster? So, for me, not at the moment. There might be, though. I definitely have the itch to roster edit this year. Um, you know, in seeing... What the likes of uh, Vassy and others are putting together, it's you know I'm getting, I'm getting the itch, you know. I need I need to see how I can, how I can compare to these. Well, you can't even call Vassy an up and comer at this point. He's been around for a while, but you know, this competition on these editing streets. You can edit picks now. Yes, yeah. So you you can move uh, draft picks now. So. You don't need to have a totally out of date roster by the time trade deadline comes around. Hunter McCown, gonna be nothing for you to do in terms of player type or anything. You're good to go. In the system, Showing Mockers is in junior, so I can't meet with him. Justin Poirier. Sniper's still fine, man. Just try to cultivate that shot accuracy. Uh, Crooks is a playmaker, it's fine. Fluginch as a playmaker. That's tough. That's tough. I mean, defensive. He's got his best attributes are his defensive awareness, his shot power, and offensive awareness. 22 years old. It's probably too late to get him to develop a shot. It's crazy that his defensive awareness is good, but everything else sucks. I don't know. Maybe we try to turn him into a sniper. Maybe we try. Let's see if he's willing to switch. He is not willing. Okay, well, we tried. We tried. Uh, Nino Niederreiter, of course, we brought in as a veteran this year. Viet as a two-way. Shout out to Cynical, the 19 months. You ever forget what you did on Twitch, so you open up a stream at potato quality because you were watching two streams at once. I can't say that's ever happened, but only because I pay for quality internet. <laughs> Not saying that you don't, but I, I get my money's worth. Wonder how much the archetypes actually matter in the sim. That's that's what I'm trying to explore with this, right? Like throughout this, I've made some decisions that some people may be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" But again, it's our test franchise. We're testing things out, seeing how things work this time out. Streamer just called you poor. <laughs> I was messing with him. I was 25 so far. Honestly, not that bad. I think if 25 was 24, people would have been a lot happier with 24. Not to say it's perfect, but people would have been happier. Um, what the hell is up with everyone having great shot power, by the way? Shout out to Berwin, a.k.a. B. Irwin, I would imagine. Berwin, what's going on? Seriously, what's up with everyone having good shot power? I'm going to leave him as a two-way because he's 23. It's too late to develop that shot. Uh, Yuka Kapanen would a red card soccer 03 stream be possible? So I've heard of that game. It was basically like slugfest for, for football. Uh, never played it though, but it sounds like it'd be a blast. Never say never. Of course, the modern version of red card soccer is, uh, playing pro clubs with endurance. Mm. All right. Kapanen is a sniper. Sure. Whatever. It is the best set of attributes he has at the moment. Uh, left wing side, Caden Lindstrom. Will you finally become a fucking center? Like full on center. Please. You're going to win so many fucking selkies if you actually move the center. It's insane. 
Change position. Mother God fucking damn it, Caden. <sighs> Pain of my ass, Caden Lindstrom. Award challenge, win the Salki, even though you won't because you're not a center. Returning channel legend, Caden Lindstrom. Mm. Uh, Christian Gunderson, we are planning on leaving you as a sniper. And hopefully you will actually shoot the puck this year. Please. Please, God, shoot the puck. Uh, X Factor challenge for you. 30 goals, Christian. You don't get those. I don't know if you're going to be here long term. Uh, let's see. Clayton Lamb, who is our third line left wing. Sniper is fine. Let's see what we can get him to do. Conversations as intrusive as Twitter made them out to be. No, because they're fully optional. That's that's what I've always, uh, and I know you've, cynically you've missed some streams and stuff like that, but that that is the drum that I've been that I've been banging since this game came out. It's fully optional. Everything like the, everything I'm doing here, fully optional. You don't have to do it. If you do choose to interact, you don't have to set it up for every single player. It is fully, fully optional. And uh, that's why it's awesome. You know, if you want to put in the work to set it up, is it a little bit tedious? Maybe. But can you get decent return out of taking the time to invest in it and set things up? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, let's see. Time and year. Is there any downside to setting season goals? Not that I've seen. It's just, oh, they didn't get it. I mean, it might negatively affect their morale for not accomplishing it, but it hasn't been overly noticeable. 40 assists from Minier. Red season goals aren't visible if you don't have morale on, so that's kind of snakes. Yeah, but then that might just be a way of saying, like, hey, morale's kind of worth playing with this year. And so far, I haven't seen anything that's going to make me say, like, oh, I have no desire to play with morale on again after this. I think it's been fine. I think it's been fine. Uh, let's see. Ivan Galianov. Listed as a playmaker still, which is fair. Again, he's got that good shot power. But maybe we'll leave him as a playmaker. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Hall we have as a depth option. Radic Kaspar as a grinder. Totally fair. Uh, DeMaio. Playmakers, totally fair. Actually, there's even an argument for... Uh, for two way because of that defense awareness. This guy cannot skate to save his goddamn life. <laughs> that is that is awful. My God. Okay. Maybe we will leave you as a playmaker, but damn, that's brutal. Uh Bear Pogey. As a two way. Yeah, we'll go with him as a two way. I mean sniper's not quite there. Uh, Young, Elliot Young can't talk to him because he's with Saskatoon. So for the centers, Sean Monahan. I think again, Sean. Going to be the one to Selkie, being able to alter player types of positions. Huge. It is. And I know that for some people, it's like, ah, oh, it's bullshit because it was unlocked and you could just do it before. And now it's tied to this. But I think this is a better way of handling it. Because there are some players. It's like, if I go to Sean Monahan and I'm like, Sean. Play like this. Sometimes Sean might say yes. Other times he might tell me to go fuck myself. You know? You never know. You never know. Uh, Joel Jackson. You are still our playmaker. Let's see if you can get some assist this season, buddy. Let's see. Let's see. My dog has no concept of personal space. Yeah, it's because it's a dog. Your space is their space. That's how it works. Do we see the type of contract Kairu got? Um, I think Kairu had one year left, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Caleb Cross, third line power forward? No, second line power forward. Okay, Caleb. Each cop kept for you and dad last week. So, you know, the only issue is if, uh, like, the player positions are wrong in the first place, but you, know, you can always fix that. Um, are you up for the Calder this year? You are. Okay. You are, you are. All right. Void, what's up, by the way, you toxic bastard? Uh, and then Luca Pinelli. 
Sniper's still fine. Yeah. Uh, so in the system, Gonchar. Listed as a two-way. Which is He's got a decent shot. The shot power is a bit low, though. But two-way's fine. And then Samu Engren. Also listed as a two-way, which is fine. Okay. So we're good to go. We are good to go. Do you give every player gold? No. Especially in the AHL. I don't believe uh, the awards are like tied to like the AHL equivalent. So not everybody. Uh, the way I typically go about it is goals for the NHLers, AHL. At the start of the year, I pretty much only pay attention to whether or not I want to change player type or position. So bought a portable air con today. Why, why do you need portable air conditioning? Why, why, why? I'm, I'm confused. Define how portable are we talking here? <laughs> All right, let's get our preseason meeting coming up. Nemich has rejected. the. I, well, I know it's like spring heading into summer, but to find portable, are you literally just talking about a unit that can be moved? In which case, like, I don't like, I guess that's technically portable, but I'm like, it just, it stays there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being difficult and trolling you. Who's to say? Who's to say? Christopher Tanev, our new head coach. A unit that has wheels. It just made me think of the... Ah, that's fine. We're fine. I'll send a link. I don't need to know what fucking air conditioner you got. <laughs> I'm not that much of a dad that I'm like, hey, so the air conditioner. Um... Let's see. Our season goal, Mr. Tanev. A lot of work to do before we can compete. It may take some time to get there. Ugh. Do you want to try the awareness boost that someone said was busted? Maybe. I was honestly thinking the goalie boost for Ravensbergen. Uh, Chris, I, I don't know, man. I think the playoffs can be the goal. I, I think we can do that. Uh, our preseason focus. So this was the one 5v5 focused. Oh, my God. All right. What the hell's Kogan? Do what the hell's a Kogan? We want to make sure you're actually you and not dealing with a robot. Fucking Australian websites think I'm a bot. What the fuck is Kogan? No, you're not getting my fucking IP. Get out of here, Kogan. Hulk. Why does Hulk... I mean, in fairness, that, that does look like a pretty sick air conditioner. God damn! Look at all that. Look at all that the, the, the fanage. Hell yeah, brother. Tied to an Alexa in case you're too lazy to just fucking grab a remote. Hell yeah, brother. 14,000 BT. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Shout out to Kogan. Please tell me it's pronounced Kogan. All right. Uh, we could do the 5v5 focused or we could do the goalie focus to improve Ravensbergen. Again, the goalie focus has no negatives attached to it, where 5v5 technically uh, drops the deking, which isn't a bad deal. Um, I mean, that one is very powerful. The goalie one's hilarious, though. Um, again, Ravensbergen's only a 79. I think I... Mm, I don't know. Goalie focused? 5v5 this year. The plus 3 to 5 puck control is crazy, by the way. Um, I'm going to go goalie for Ravensbergen. Just a bit. Shout out to Cameron for the four months on the prior. Cameron, welcome back. How the hell are you? Uh, Nemich, what's up, buddy? Um, yeah, I mean, you're going to be playing on the first defensive pair. You're going to be playing on power play one. You're going to be on the PK. Shut the hell up. I already don't like him. I already don't like him. Uh, you made promises to me. I know, Simone. Simon, if that is your real name. Fuck what Simon says. Streamer says, shut up and play hockey. 
I don't need you woke liberal. <laughs> I don't need some woke liberal right defenseman telling me what's up. Damn it, I'm the woke liberal here. How dare you? Um, God, so let's take a look then. Uh, after all that preseason training and offseason training, Nier Lindstrom Law, Gunderson Cross, Shields, Lamb, Jackson, Miopel, McLeod, Monahan, McCown, Fence, Rensky, Nemich, Kalpin, and Goodrow, Burke, Villanov, Ravensburg, and now an 81. So it definitely makes the goaltending look a little bit better. Most points we've seen a player get in a season so far. Uh, we played a season with high scoring, and Connor McDavid had like 200 points. So, that. That would have been the answer. High scoring this year is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. If he was a woke liberal, wouldn't he be a left defenseman? Well, you see, the left is actually the right, and the right is the far right, and then there's and then there's uh, progressives like Bernie Sanders, which is like, isn't he old and memeable? And that's the state of U.S. politics. Anyway, hi, how y'all doing? Hey, have a good. Have you had a good Saturday? How'd we get here? I don't want to be here. How'd we get here? We march, we move. We're also 0-2 to start the season, which isn't great. And we have allowed five goals in our first two games. When they're playing franchise on 24, who complained after, even after we traded them? Yes. Yes, there was. Caleb Cross is injured. Isn't the left more like middle? Uh, by the politics of other countries, yes. Um, by politics of the of other countries, yeah. The, the U.S. left is more centrist. Actual... Left policy is like you would see proposed in like sweet or Sweden, Finland, something like that. Um, yeah, those aren't those aren't happening in this country. <laughs> Two party system, baby. What the stream become? I don't know. I don't know how we got here, but yay politics. Everyone loves talking about politics. Come on now, it's the best, least contentious topic you can have aside from Caleb Waugh blowing out his groin and probably not winning Rookie of the Year. So that sucks. That sucks. We move from AC units to politics. I mean, that's because that's I'm an old man. That's because I'm an old man. That's what we talk about in these old man streams. That's what we talk about. Where the hell is Cross? Oh, he's up there. Okay, sir, you're one six and zero. Yeah, the the whole idea about making the playoffs this year isn't looking too likely, is it? It's not looking too likely. Um, but you know, taking a year off and a year where we still don't have a draft pick, our own first, <sighs> sounds like a great idea. Sounds like a great idea. Maybe we should talk about air conditioners and politics more. Uh, Hergwans is on waivers. So we don't need you. I mean, maybe we do need you. I do have played NHL 25. Do you actually enjoy it? It's not bad. It's not bad. My biggest complaint still is that their rosters are atrocious and they won't do anything to change how they're made. That's my biggest complaint. I mean, I've preached the, the you know, to the choir about how important it is for the rosters to not be bad because they can drag down the quality of franchise. And now the franchise is better. Yeah, actively we're seeing that the quality of the rosters negatively affects the mode still, which, yeah, yeah, I could have told you that. I could have told you that. Oh, let's see. Tanev isn't a, yeah, it's true that Tanev isn't a top tier coach, and we're probably paying for that, but it is what it is. Um Yeah, four eleven and four. Well, we can stick with Tanev for the rest of the year and tank. Or, I mean, f coaching free agents. I mean, there is the A-plus in Schneider that we had previously. I could finally drop my whole trying to train up real coaches routine. Um, But I don't know if I want to do that. I, I like using the real coaches, even if it makes my team worse. You know? Yeah, fuck it. We can take the year off. It's fine. We can take the year off and be bad. Um, although, since we're going to do that, really quickly, let me hit the wrong button. Damn it. The menu is still too slow for current changing. Eh, I don't think they're as bad as people make it out to be. Personally, 
Let's... Who the hell has our first round pick this year? I don't think it's Edmonton still. I think the Bouchard. Bouchard, yeah, the Bouchard stuff finally, finally expired. It might be like San Jose or somebody. Probably is San Jose. Nope, it's Ottawa. Okay. Um, how valuable are our picks? Oh goodness! Do you think they'll ever get the license for IRL coach? I know they're trying, and hopefully the answer is yes. Hmm. So let's see. We have Seattle and Nashville. How's Nashville doing so far? Pretty decently. Seattle around 500. Um, th this is going to be worthwhile. If we're going to take this year off for the sake of player development, this is going to be worthwhile. If they're willing to do this, it might be a little bit more expensive than I prefer it to be. But let's see, take out that fourth. Take out the fifth. Take out another fifth. Take out the seventh. All right, I'm going to have to add a little bit, but it's going to be worth it. All until Seattle gets the number one overall pick this year, probably. But, uh, Harima, are you enough to push it over the edge? No. No, you are not. Uh, do I have anybody else I can give up here? Not really. Happening? Happening is pretty shit. Still, oh boy. Okay. This, I mean, we could wait until the draft, but again, we know we're going to have a bad team this year because uh, even though it's actively hurting the team, I am going to stick with Tanev as our head coach. We got a couple of low elites we can move. I move Angren. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Is this pricey? Use that Anaheim third. Actually, Anaheim is half decent or half bad. Uh, Colorado. We might not be able to pull the trigger on that. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried. I tried. I tried. But yeah, we'll stick with Chris Tanev, even though it's going to mean that we're bad this year. Uh, also, because of injuries, Brent, uh, Ben Sherratt is playing top line left wing right now. Uh, but we do have people back from injuries. So let's get Meneer back in there. Uh, we need to sub out Cross for Wah. And then Pinelli needs to be out for Cross. Yeah, it's quite clear that like a coach's overall grade is more important than the chemistry that they provide. But yeah, we'll stick with it. I'm cool with this being bad for a year. I'm cool with this being bad for a year. Like we've we've been consistently on the cusp of hey making the playoffs and maybe being able to go on a run. That now it's it is probably for the best just to take a take a back seat for a year or two and uh, let this younger core develop a little bit more. So we will be bad, but that is okay. That is okay. I'm all right with it. That said, we did just have back-to-back uh, -back wins, and we've won three out of our last four. If we're fully healthy, we might actually be half decent. But then again, uh, if we keep having a crap load of injuries again, uh, that'll likely go poorly for us. Jack Thompson is on waivers. Uh, we don't really have room for you, Jack. I'm sorry. Yeah, we win some, we lose some. Fair enough. Luca Morelli gets hurt. Uh, Scott Mayfield, he's he's gonna be old at this point. We don't need him. Uh, William Trudeau. Yeah, we don't need him either. He's fine. But all right, Nemich is healthy. Good chance that he gets traded at the deadline. By the way. 
pretty good chance he gets flipped at the deadline. Yeah, he has been terrible this year when he's played. It doesn't help that the goaltending has been uh, less than stellar. Let's get Michael DiPietro in as the backup and see what he can do. So who knows? Maybe higher rated goalies are going to be that much more important this year. Nemec, you can't possibly be pissed. You are, though. You're literally on the first pairing. Suck it. Here comes the triple. You were injured, fucker. They need to fix this. They do need to fix that. I'm not playing on the PK like I was promised. Here it comes. Yep. Yeah, here we go. It is my recommendation to avoid uh, avoid promises for now, if you can. Because something like that can happen, and it's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain. But it is what it is. Now he's happy about ice time. So, yeah. We are a bad hockey team this year. Well, the poor record only dropped Tanev's overall even more. There's the possibility that, yeah, it's, it's going to heavily affect us. Um... That said, I do question how good we'd even be if uh, if we had a better coach, you know? Dude, Meneer has six assists. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, and Wa has one goal and 20. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make a change. Let's go ahead and make a change. Um, fucking yikes. That is so much worse than I expected it to be. For the first overall pick to have one goal. Um, let's not do that. And uh, let's let's get rid of Maltby. Because I need to make room. Uh, we are going to go. I might just finally have to drop the idea of trying to train up coaches. It, it does actively make the team worse. Uh, that said, Wheeler, how well do you fit the team with an offensive play style? 58%. Uh, Sid, 64%. Say hello to new head coach, Sidney Crosby. I'm here for it. And we will, uh, demote Tanev. To associate... Actually, no, we won't. We gotta call up Malkin. It's gotta be Malkin and Crosby leading us to glory, you know? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. There we go. That works. That works. The Penguins have taken over the Blue Jackets. Isn't he worse than Tanev? Yes. Yes, he is. I'm committing to the tank, but he is a more offensively oriented coach. So I'm intrigued. Is there a glitch in the edit line screens that shows the wrong X factors? Um, sometimes I, I haven't necessarily seen that this year, but that was the case in prior games. Fix that morale works in 25. Yes, it's a little bit more fleshed out because of the uh, expanded combos. Galpinen's hurt. Yeah, the cross is healthy. Of course, we're still suffering from a ton of injuries. Why does the game crash so much? I've only had the game crash through one example. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Because it's a video game that was released on a yearly schedule, which means there's always issues at the start of the year. And by issues, I mean a lot of them. Hello, Philip Eckberg. Okay. Listed as a playmaker, that's fair. Uh yeah, we'll we'll take Philip Eckberg. Why not? Why not? Welcome in, Philip. Welcome in, welcome in. Boy, we are uh we are still very, very bad. Very, very bad. Um, God, we're bad. <laughs> it is by design, but God, we are bad. At least we know whether or not some of these guys are going to work out long term. 
Ah, Eckberg is currently playing defense. That's where he's at. That's where he's at. Let's get Ben Sherrod in there. That works. Uh, Ty Manier. What are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still give him the chance because I can't send down Eckberg. So... I'd have to put him through waivers, so we're going to keep him, even if it means we flip him. Kirill Kudryatsev. Kudryatsev. You are not going to be claimed. You are not very good, which in theory would mean you fit in perfectly with this team, but let's not uh, let's not talk like that. <laughs> uh, now, I've avoided looking at the draft class. There is not a franchise-level play this uh, player this year, but there are a couple of medium elites fighting it out at the top of the board. So Xavier McLeod gets hurt. All the all the injuries right now. All the injuries. Left bomb. I gotta be honest, this team is much worse than expected. I I am gonna take the time to think as to whether or not uh, as to whether or not we should uh Ditch the the real life players retiring and becoming coaches meme because we know it's holding us back. Uh, hello, Mr. Co. Okay. I mean, another medium four. I mean, yeah, sure. Why wouldn't we claim you? Um, let's see. Hammerla 881 Di Pietro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It doesn't help that the goaltending has been fucking atrocious. Uh, so we can't send down Co. Berglund's goal was to stay on the NHL roster. So Berglund probably ends up being a healthy scratch. Villeneuve is currently hurt. Um, we're going to have to probably send down Ben Sherratt. And then let's see. Eckberg, we cannot send down through waivers. Or, you know, we can't send down because he'd have to go through waivers. Um, you're just going to approach this Yeah, that's what I normally do. But, uh, Minear is not bad. I need to know what Philip Eckberg is capable of. So we are going to send down Minear for the moment. Let's see. It's 10, 11, 12, 13 with McLeod. Okay, that should work. That should work. So let's see. Eckberg, you're going to get the opportunity. Was there a goal attached to Meneer? Yes, but he was never going to hit it. It was for assists. He didn't have a hope in hell of getting it. So who cares at that point? Send him down. Eckberg is on two different lines right now because Pinelli is not. In. Oh, dude, our lines are a mess at the moment. All right, let's get Pinelli in on the fourth line. Defense. We need to get Villeneuve back in there. And then Berglund can take a seat for Co. Crosby is not a fan of that combination, apparently. And then goalie-wise, Ravensbergen and Hammerla. Power play. What got screwed up about the power play? That needs to be Eckberg, who is listed as a scratch. Okay, it is going to fix itself, though, so that's good. Uh, so the AHL is a little bit wonky now. Get Di Pietro out of there from Malcolm Subban to make sure that Hadobin is still primarily the starter. And we'll just leave the lines as they are. And, okay, the lines are glitched out. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, so that still happens. That is annoying. Uh, quick sub. Eckberg. Just on that line. Pinelli. Are we good? And Patrick Hammer like us. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately after sending down Michael DiPietro, our backup goalie gets hurt. We are cursed. It's incredible. 
It is incredible, isn't it? All right. We have uh, nearly made it to February. It has been a disastrous season. Our worst season since taking over the team, which is 14 wins. Um, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with being bad for a year and then try to bounce back next season. But, uh, it's so tough. I know we could be so much better if I change out the coaches, but head coach Sidney Crosby. I can't avoid head coach Sidney Crosby. Come on, man. It's Sid. It's so much more fun to win with Sid than it is to win with fucking Guillermo Schneider. Just move them all to the AHL. Yeah, but then I'd have to choose. I don't want to choose. Bitch, this isn't Sophie's choice. I don't have to choose. I choose both of them. I choose life. And by life, I mean the ability to get my ass handed to me consistently by every team in the NHL except for the Ottawa Senators. I wonder if Ottawa will take Nemich. I hope so. <laughs> hell of a reference, Razor. Hell of a reference. AHL until they're great at high enough to be the head coach. I don't think that's going to happen, though. You got to give them a chance. Also, Palpatine. Thank you for 10 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good, good. We're winning more games with Sidney Crosby, proving people wrong. Good, good. How dare you doubt head coach, Captain Canada, God's gift. God's gift to Nova Scotia, Sidney Crosby. Crosby needs experience. Fuck no, we're Steven Gerrarding him just right to the big time. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yay, Nova Scotia. Exactly. You can't root for Sidney Crosby to be sent down to the AHL. That means you're going to get banned from Nova Scotia. A beautiful province. You don't want to be banned from Nova Scotia, do you? No. So shut up. Have faith in Sid. Do it. Have faith in Sidney Crosby. Do it. Uh, we are 20, 34, and 5 just before the deadline. Um, we are obviously going to be looking to sell at the deadline. And by sell, I mean our owner's probably looking at selling the team because I'm driving it into the ground. <laughs> 